guys uh, welcome to co academy guys in this video we'll be talking about a very very important concept in women and gender studies and that is the concept of feminism first of all we will talk as to what is feminism uh, then we will talk about the different theories of feminism for example liberal feminism radical feminism marxist feminism and postmodern feminism so getting to the basics uh, feminism is a political movement okay and uh, now what i what do i mean by political political means that it 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 wants to elevate women in the public sphere okay it wants to get them voting rights uh, at least it started that way okay uh, it, so it's a political movement and it, it exists to rectify sexual inequalities okay uh, of course feminism believe feminist feminists believe that uh, women and men are not treated equally in the in the, in, in this world okay uh the man man is the man is in the superior position and generally they consider that man is the oppressor and women is the oppressed okay so they they say that there are sexual inequalities and what what they tend to do is that they they, they their aim is to rectify those inequalities but of course uh, feminists are not of one type okay there are many variants of feminists okay some some all all of them believe that uh, there are there are sexual inequalities but how they how they intend to correct those inequalities well on that account the the different feminists they 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 have their own methods about it some believe that uh, this can this this sexual inequalities they can be they can be corrected in in a one way others believe that no this is not this but another way can be adopted uh, so their ways are based upon uh, they based upon their understanding or their perspectives as to why is there inequality between the genders okay so their strategies can vary uh so all the feminists they believe that inequality between men and women is the most significant as we all know that uh, every society there the every society uh, there are different classes okay every society has this the stratification system for example some uh, some some societies stratify their individuals based on based on the wealth they have some some stratify their individuals based on the uh, based on the caste which they belong to so stratification is a universal phenomenon don't no society is free of stratification and feminists believe that the most significant form of stratification found in every society both in history as well as today is the is this this inequality between men and women women and men are treated as two separate entities they are not given the same rights okay they are treated differently and this is the most significant of the stratifications rest are secondary this is the primary one uh the feminists also claim that gender norms are socially constructed and not determined by biology so if they are not determined by biology and they are socially constructed then it means that those norms can be changed okay now do do those are socially constructed by what do what do we mean by socially constructed it means that uh, as a result of the interaction between different different people in the society uh, the, the 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 perception of uh, gender inequality it comes come uh, comes into being and it, it it gets reinforced from time to time uh, the more we interact the more that perception uh, it gets reinforced so talking about the theorist uh, first we will talk about the liberal feminists okay now liberal feminists uh, do not seek revolutionary changes they want to work within the existing structures now liberal feminists do not believe that uh, okay uh, within this current structure uh, in which women are oppressed and men men are in the dominating position they don't seek to overthrow this system they believe that even uh, uh, even keeping the system intact and living within the system uh, uh, women can be the women, women can be given uh, rights equal to those of men okay so they don't want to overthrow the system they want to work within the system and make changes within okay uh, now how do they how uh, do they believe that it the, the, that inequality can be uh, can be done away with within the existing structure well they believe that uh, they, there should be creation of equal opportunities okay so they believe that equal opportunities should, should be provided regardless of the sex okay whether you are a, whether you are a male or a female it does it should not matter Uh, you should be given equal opportunities and once the equal opportunities are given then then uh, then it's up to the up to the both male, men and women male and female to excel in the field okay so they 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 are of the view that different legislation should be passed like sex discrimination act equal pay act for example women should be women should be paid at par with men so 
so they want to work within this system both men they believe liberal feminists believe that both men and women are harmed by gender inequalities they believe that uh, men are not the uh, are not the beneficiaries in this power structure they don't believe that uh, like radical feminists we will talk about those later believe that this this power structure is such that men are in the dominating position and women are in the subordinate position and men benefit out of that equation whereas liberal feminists believe that that's not the case neither of the gender benefits from this 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 inequality both are worse off so uh, they believe that socialization into traditional gender roles produces rigid inflexible expectations of men and women and they believe that discrimination prevents women from having equal opportunities and liberal feminist ideas have had most impact on women's lives example mainstreaming so uh, rest of the feminist movements well they they have their own way to go about it but if we talk in terms of tangible results then fa liberal feminists had the most success okay they they uh, they succeeded in getting the women equal representation uh, they they succeeded in getting women the votes the right to right to enfranchisement right to get women elected in the parliament uh, equal jobs equal pay so li liberal feminist agenda it was not, not it was not like uh, a sort of extremist agenda agenda but they did succeed in achieving their objectives now talking about uh, radical feminists okay they they are opposed to they, they their idea their beliefs are diametrically opposed to liberal feminists okay now uh, radical feminists believe that society is patriarchal okay uh, what do we mean by patriarchal it means that men are the ruling class and women are the subject class okay so that that's the view held by radical feminists remember this okay so a very famous uh, a very famous uh, radical feminist uh, dwokin she maintained that uh, in her work in 1981 she maintained that rape violence and pornography are the methods through which men maintain power over women so uh, rosemary tong she was also a radical feminist and she believes that radical feminists there are two types of radical feminists and the one are radical libertarian feminists who aim for a state of androgyny and uh, what do we mean by androgyny it means a, a state in which uh, a, a condition a state of phase in which men and women are equal like androgyny you can you can see uh, these radical feminists in uh, and their depictions like women are dressed uh, as men and men are dressed as women so they they believe that gender should uh, this sex should not be any constraint and ultimately if you let 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 the women uh, let the women be uh, then these sex uh, sex differentials they they will evaporate uh, the second uh, the second category of uh, radical feminists is radical cultural feminists okay and they believe in the superiority of the feminine Uh, remember radical feminists they, they are they are the ultra feminist sort of thing okay they are they are the on the one extreme so uh, the second category radical cultural feminists they believe in the superiority of feminine celebrate characteristics associated with femininity such as emotion so they do not believe in equality they don't believe that men and women are equal rather they 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 believe that women are superior they believe that the uh, qualities associated with uh, feminine characteristics like emotions taking care those qualities and values are superior to those uh, held by the male 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 one male, male characteristics and those are like uh, aggression competition which often results in war so radical feminists they 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 maintain that women are superior now how radical feminists they they want to change the state of affairs of patriarchy where men are the ruling class some uh, some of for political lesbianism i will discuss this concept in a separate separate video some uh, some maintain that there should be separatism women only communes and matrifocal households women should you know live separately from men now, of course uh, some would say that these are very far fetched ideas and far from uh, far from this like i ideal or you what you say what you should say practical approach but having said that it's it's a school of thought and it has its own way of going about things they it, it they they have their own perspective of how uh, there is gender inequality because of patriarchal system and they have they propose their own methods for changing the state of affairs the third uh, the third uh, uh, feminist theory is marxist feminism now marxist feminists believe that capitalism rather than patriarchy the patriarchy is the principal source of women's oppression 
uh, radical feminists uh, as we saw they believe that patriarchy that is the the men being in a dominant position being in the ruling position is the reason why women are subjugated but marxist feminists believe that capitalism okay uh, uh, the system in which there are two types of classes okay bourgeoisie who own the factors of production and the proletariat class which who are the laborers that system itself gives rise to this this uh, this this problem of gender inequality okay so in communist society marxist feminist believe that gender inequalities will disappear so marxist believe that once the capitalist system is no, no more and a communist system takes its place then uh, uh, then this this gender inequalities will disappear now how, why, why do they believe this Where's, uh, well uh they they maintain that women's subordination benefits capitalism how because women reproduce the labor force for for free socialization is done for free so one uh, women women reproduce the labor force which of course will once again work for the capitalist class and uh, to produce more and more goods and and that will make the capitalist class even more richer and of course they the second uh, the second uh, services which women provide is is that they socialize them for free they so inculcate them in the uh, they inculcate in them the norms which which produces very very lucrative sort of labor force in the market which is more compliant which is more disciplined to work in the factories so that that is what marxist feminists believe because their their ideas they come from the they from from the, uh, the uh, you know ideology of karl marx who was uh, opposed to this this factory worker factory owners and all those stuff so uh second uh, uh second way in which marxist feminists believe uh, that the this capitalism system uh, it it uh, it affects women is that women absorb anger women keep their husbands going like husbands work in the factories and they when they get tired of course they come home and they they they, they have it with their wives and they are once again uh, you know the, the, the stress is their stress is out and they are once again free for the capitalist world to go out and work once again okay so uh the first uh, the first uh, function which women uh, uh, serve is that of reproduction of labor force second is uh, to keep their husbands going and third is because the husband has to support his wife and children he is more de dependent on his job and less likely to demand wage increase now in a capitalist system uh, because husband has to take care of his family uh, he is more likely to keep on working for the capitalist system okay he 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 there are chances that he won't leave the workforce and he is not in a bargaining position so this marxist feminist believe that women are subordinated because of capitalism and not because of men okay mm, so marxist feminists are more sensitive to differences between women who belong to the ruling class and proletarian class they believe that it's not women as a whole who who are basically uh, sub uh, were subjugated class no they believe that women from uh, capitalist class okay uh, they 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 are not subjugated okay whereas only the women from the proletarian class they are they are uh, subjugated because of the fact of capitalism they believe that uh, patriarchal a patriarchy system is not the reason why women are oppressed now the third uh, the fourth category is difference or post modern feminists okay now these these guys don't see women as a single homogenous group okay uh, all the three theories other theories they see women as a single group who are oppressed and men are the oppressors now they believe uh, post modern feminists believe uh, they criticize the previous feminist theories for for claiming a false universality they believe that all the pre previous feminist movements they they actually represented white western heterosexual middle class families a typical you know like nuclear family in a western world okay they they, they believe that post modernists believe that uh, previous three feminist movements they only talked about those or uh, or even if they they claim to talk about all the women essentially their the crux of their ideas and how they wanted to change things it basically affected only white western women uh, they critiqued preceding feminist theory as being part of the masculinist in enlightenment project they believe that all the theories feminist theories previous like radical feminism and liberal feminism and marxist feminism they essentially portrayed they 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 they, they were the, uh, the they they were the you know they were playing in the hands of these enlightenment thinkers like john locke and all those th all those 
enlightenment thinkers and they had this like masculine point of view in them they were not the true representatives of the uh, of the feminine of the woman uh, their, their voices were not coming from the women it was uh, you know invisible hand there was an invisible hand of the enlightenment masculine thinkers and they criticized preceding feminist theories of being essentialist and what more postmodern feminists believe is that why women are oppressed is because of discourses okay it's like uh, how how this 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 uh, difference that this gender inequality is played out in in the discourses in 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 media in books in history and they believe that the relationship between power and knowledge okay uh, they believe that the relationship between men and women is that of power and knowledge rather than politics and opportunities they believe that <clears throat> women are in a subordinated position because of the 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 power which men have in in discourse in knowledge in in knowledge so it's it's like more like abstract abstract like uh, concepts like uh, if you have ta- heard uh, edward said on orientalism he believes that the history was written from the point of view of the west okay so uh, east or the orient they don't get to ch- uh, they don't get to see what what they, what 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 is there actually in the history so that is what postmodern feminists believe they believe that the discourse the history everything is written from the point of view of the male so it's not like the tangible things rather intangible things the the uh, cultural aspects of the society which uh, result in the uh, subjugation of women so i hope you got a fair idea about these feminist movements what uh, what each, each feminist movement has a, a unique and where do they fall short and where do they do they have merit and uh which one succeeded uh, to what extent um, thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe